copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act of 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting teaching scholarship education and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing shalom shalom is the brother adab york from the gms mobile alabama camp coming at you with another lesson but before I get started, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace and salutation to the whole for elect that scattered abroad preaching the truth and sincerity. To you, I want to say shout out to Alright, so many of you know what this is, but don't really know what this is. But getting straight to it, this screensaver that you see from your Roku TV. All right, that you wake up to in the middle of the night, all right, it's a depiction of Jacob's trouble, which is in the scriptures, okay? Esau put the real deal in your face, but he put a twist on things. Say, for instance, um, the movie Independence Day, right? He says it's going to be an alien invasion, and according to the scriptures, it is going to be an alien invasion, a so-called alien invasion. All right, Zechariah 5 and 1 down to four. All right, and then you got Nahum, all right, uh, chapter two, verse four. But the twist is Esau military will not defeat the so-called UFOs, all right? And there will be no strange creatures with ten tentacles, you know, or, or fish bowls on their heads like they can't breathe in oxygen. But it's actually the Lord's angels that's flying them, man. I know he don't need them, but he got them. All right, you got to think about it. The Lord, you know, is king of kings, man. All right, Lord of lords, man. Hey, he's royalty. You know, he, he, he's majestic, man. All right, if him and his, if him and his angels want to cruise the galaxy, you know, and, and, and not fly or, or appear everywhere they go, then so be it. These rich people down here on earth, they got chauffeurs. All right, they don't drive everywhere they have to go, so why not the Lord and his angels? All right, but as you can see, there is a so-called UFO in this image, okay? Um, in the city, far in the back, you see a dinosaur, all right, which is Leviathan, all right? Job chapter 41, verse 1, which Leviathan um, simply means sea monster or, or, or sea serpent. All right, a, a, a large a, aquatic animal, and it's many Leviathans, but this one here is way more powerful than the others. All right, this is where um, Godzilla comes from, all right, in the movies and, and, and the cartoons that you see. Okay, you see a robot. This might not be scriptural, you know, as far as robots being in the scripture, but in Yokohama, in um, Tokyo Bay over there in Japan, they built this robot that stands 59 feet tall and, and weighs like 25 tons. All right, you, you can Google this. All right, but they say it's only going to stay in that area until March of next year, man, 2024. So where is it going after March? All right, um, you, it's, 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 it's a video that has surfaced, you know, going into Japan's military weapons for World War III. All right, and they showed a quick glimpse of this exact robot, and the video footage switched back to um, Japan's missiles and, and tanks and stuff, man. Now, they have two of these 59-foot robots, all right, but it's for a, a show-and-tell purpose only right now. But they, they going to add, you know, it's weapons in due times, man, after March, man. All right, but when you you watch the cartoon Gundam Wing, because that's that that's where that 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 um that model come from, the, the cartoon Gundam Wing. All right, you know they 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 show them firing firing laser beams and, and energy bombs and whatnot. You know they even out in, in, into space fighting. You know. With, with, with robotic guns and things, man. Because people caught on to the footage, they labeled it as fake news, man. 
All right, never trust thine enemies. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. All right, um, this right here looks like um, Mary Poppins next to the, the blue beam of, of, of the UFO, man. All right, now this is another one of Esau's twists because the scripture speaks on the Lord giving spiritual power to certain people of his elect, okay? Lifting up that, that standard. Isaiah 59 19 and also Isaiah 40 and 31 but when you see a twist like this then you put down your guards and, 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 and shun the evil day like like you see a, a person swinging from what appears to be um the the, the big band clock over there in London or, or, or something but when you see a twist like that you know you pay no attention all right, you you see the military flying around the robot on on uh, on the building in the right corner, which looks like the Empire State Building. All right, you 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 this um that's the military man. All right, you you see a, a, a octopus or something with tentacles a, around the ship, and that ship really looks like the Clotilda. All right, which which was a slave ship. All right, um, Psalms 104, um, 26. Then you see the Titanic o over to the left, you know, and then the far back, you know, the, the orange lights is, is the nuclear missiles, you know, that, that's going to hit this place in, in, in different cities and, and countries, all right? Um, Jeremiah 5 and 14, and, and it's going to be 200 million missiles that hit this place, all right? Revelation 9 and 15, on down. And America will be strong in one hour, man. Revelation 18 and 10. All right? It's, it's going to be volcano eruptions, and the cities will be burning from multiple fire sources, man. Like riots and, and volcanoes. All right? World War Three. All right? And, and just gas lines and, and, and tanks and things exploding, man. All right? The, 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 the city in the back that's representing destruction you know during that time all right all right and then the the lord say the um the earth is gonna already be kindled with fire man before he comes all right roughly paraphrasing all right but but um this city in the very front all right seems more calm which is also during the same time as the city in the back but this city is, is what you would call a ghost town because there is no sign of, of human life here. All right? Everything appears to be closed down and the life of the city is dead. But as you can see, there are glowing eyes in this city, which will also be in the city that's in the back as well. But you can't see them, you know, it, you, 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 you can see them in, in the front city better because the back seat is far off, but you see a pair of eyes here on the roof between the, the three smokestacks. Then just below those pair of eyes, you see another pair under the garage door. All right, and just to the right of that is a pair inside the garbage can. All right, Wisdom of Solomon, 17 and 3, on down to verse 15. All right, just talking about when, 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 when they cut America's power grid, man. Oh, and, and also um, Ecclesiastes um, 39 28. There'll be spirits created for vengeance. So all these things you see here and more will happen during Jacob's trouble. Okay, so let's start off with um, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah saying, Thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, power of Israel, saying, Write out. Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Okay. Jeremiah was a prophet, you know, which prophet means to say before. But the Lord said to him to write down these words, I say to you in a book. And that book is the Bible. Okay. It says, For lo, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh Shah, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah. And said the Lord Yahweh Shah. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. 
All right, and Israel and Judah is the northern and southern tribes of our forefather Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel after he wrestled with an angel. All right, and, and that land that was given to our fathers was on um, was was Jerusalem. All right, the land of Israel, but we have been taken from our land by the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahushah for the the iniquities we committed against our Lord. But verse, but verse four reads. And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh Yahushua spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. See, Israel, all right, the Israelites, not no other nation. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans only, man. All right. For thus said the Lord Yahweh Yahushua, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Why? Because of the destruction that's happening during the second death, which we are fastly approaching. All right. It reads, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and our faces are turned into paleness. The scriptures say in, in, in Zephaniah um, 1 and 14 that the mightiest man shall cry bitterly in the day of the Lord. Okay? Which is judgment day. All right, verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, it's the time of Jacob's trouble because the Lord only cares about his chosen people, man, Israel. But two-thirds of our people doesn't care about the Lord. The Lord's hand is still stretched out for you Israelites to be received for before the, the mighty day of judgment. All right. They say, and Yahweh shall went out and departed. Um, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 1. And Yahweh shall went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh shall said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Come, so hey, all these prophecies must come to pass before the end come, man. For for the end to come. Alright, verse 3. And he, so like it, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in diverse places. So, are we not hearing of wars? You know, that, that's in effect right now. Alright, and, and, and more wars to come between the other nations. Okay, it's a famine going on right now. In third world countries there's a light famine going on here in america all right you see different food banks passing out foods you got different churches passing out foods to the community okay you got schools that's doing the same thing earthquakes are happening everywhere across the globe you got pestilences hey mosquitoes carrying deadly viruses and diseases flesh eating parasites in the gulf locusts eating the crops fire ants attacking and killing people the brother on um, GMS North Carolina 777 did a, did um a, a in the news on that man. <laughs> but what did the Lord say? Verse eight. All oh, these are the beginning of sorrows. Con. <laughs> these things that's happening right now is a light thing. It's just the tip of the iceberg compared to the actual great day of judgment. <laughs> which is the bottom of the iceberg that's deep down in the ocean that you don't see. <laughs> hey, and, and, that's, and, and that's spiritual, man. All right, the, 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 the bottom of the iceberg is down in the ocean. You can't see it. Just like the world, they can't see the, 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 the Lord's day is fastly approaching, man. Hey, that's spiritual, man. All right, but um, Matthew 24 and verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, to, to be afflicted, and shall kill you, 
and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. This is talking about the whole free elect because we are the only ones that's calling and believing on his name. The things that we preach on, you know, our sit downs during camps, our live streams, are, are against the ways of this world, all right? We are calling Esau a liar and a snake in his own kingdom. That's why they are, are, are building cases for so-called hate speech and, and, and trying to do away with the Holy Bible. You got to realize that if this book was of the whites, then why are they in the process of destroying it? All right? But it's totally from the scriptures, and these are not our words, man. All right, verse 10, it say, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. Okay, and there's many false prophets, all right? The word prophet simply means to say before things happen, all right? And your Dr. Martin Luther King was one of them false prophets, man, because his dream was a, wasn't of the Lord's plan, man, all right? And it tells you that in the scriptures, the false prophets that, that say, I dream, I dream. Hey, man, these scriptures is on point, man. You <laughs> better act like you know. All right, verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It's been a lot of death amongst the people, okay? People on live stream, social media, um, expressing their harsh feelings towards another person. You got care and damn near everywhere. The end doves are always brawling in restaurants, at airports, in the streets, at parks. All right, more fights involving bitches are being displayed at an all-time high, okay? You got parents against children, the children against par parents. All right, you got the right, um, the riots. All right, the, the civilians ri rising up against the governments. All right, verse thirteen. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. He that endure and survive through all these evil events and situations that the Lord is bringing amongst the world, even Yahweh shall coming back with, with 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 his army and the nukes. Um just straight demolishing them things, you know, them shall he save, man. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this is where we stand now. The Lord rose up his servants, the prophets, to preach his words throughout the earth by the way of his this internet. And, and out there on the highways and byways in the chief places of concourse, telling our people to come back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son the Bible speaks on. But, you know, repent that ye may be delivered from this great destruction that's about to hit this place. But this gospel is only for the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians and the descendants from them. All right, verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the, abom the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea, in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the fear return back to take his clothes. Come. Hey, wherever you are, don't return to your houses. You know, North City, and if you are already there, then flee to a safe haven, because martial law will be um, enforced. You know, during this time of Jacob's trouble. All right, and, and, and call call on and trust in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, that you may be protected from 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 the catastrophe, man. All right, still in that Matthew 24 verse 19, and woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. If you are not part of the whole field elect, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. But if you're not, then it's bad for you and your children, all right? Your newborns. Okay, the, the scriptures speak on how people will eat their children for a lack of food. All right, second Edges 15, 57, all right, to 58. But this verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of this world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Come, because throughout history, 
it was never a great destruction as the end of the world. And it's even a time of the Lord's return, you know, in his full power, you know, wrecking havoc upon the earth. All right. Um, verse 22. And except, and except those days should be shortened, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay, because of the iniquity and the unrighteous rulers, we are dying at alarming rates. We are not living as long as we were back in the ancient days. All right, verse 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is a Mashiach, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Amashiachs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And the whole elect will not be deceived, because the Lord revealed the signs and wonders of the coming of Yahweh. But Esau's Blue Bean Project will deceive the whole world with this um this hologram of of of, of a Jesus, I right? returning when the scriptures tell us that he's coming with clouds and chariots as known as UFOs, all right? Verse 25, Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, okay? And every eye shall see him. If, if every eye seeing him, then there is no need for someone approaching you saying that the Lord is over here or, or, or he over there. All right, verse 28. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Come, and the Lord promised the birds a, a feast. All right, Ezekiel 39 and 17 and Revelation 19 and 17. All right. But verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. All right, that's going into the news. And then shall appear the sign of, of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of, of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, and putting forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. And this is that generation because we are measuring the times diligently and we are here with that mark of the beast being presented to the world. Alright? Verse 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Okay, first on Thessalonians 5 and 1. Also Revelation 16 and 15. All right. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that no entered into the ark. And they knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. People are partying, taking cruises, um, getting BBLs, all right, getting married, doing stupid ass TikTok challenges, okay? And not paying attention to the dollar crashing. Not paying attention to the war over there in the Middle East. All right, not paying attention to the shortages of food, the power grid being threatened. Just going on about their jolly old days, man, looking for the next holiday or birthday to celebrate. Meanwhile, while sleeping, the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is on his way and he's coming fast. Revelation 22 and 12. Turn, I'm ending it off right there. So, Lord willing, this lesson will edify him.
to you, I want to say Shalom.